Um, I'm Josh. I sing in Fangs, um, the semi-professional punk rock uh, outfit from, you know, New South Wales, Sydney. Hey, you going, brother? Just putting a few tickets on yourself, calling yourself semi-professional. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, got to wrap it. Yeah, you got you got to blow your own horn every now and then. <laughs> so we've got a couple of things Absolutely. to get through, bro. But we'll start off with uh, today. You actually released the video for the song "Same Old Story," which came out about last week, mate. So how's the uh, early reception been for that track? Yeah, really good, man. It's like um, I think for that song, it's a uh, it's it it kind of like has a nostalgia thing for me, where it's like like when when we were writing that song, I was like. I want to write a song like an American pie esque kind of like, <laughs> like, you know, house parties. And like, that was the song for me. So I was kind of like, when it came out, I was just like, this is exactly everything that, you know, at the end of it, it's exactly the way that we wanted it to turn out, which was sick. Yeah. Speaking of nostalgia, well, the video clip features shots of you performing in different venues. Is that right? Yeah, absolutely. So it's been kind of like, I think over the last, uh, you know, year or so. And, um, you know, and it, it's been like all of the best parts of like all of um, Fang's shows. So, you know, Fiddler and, you know, He is Legend and all these really wicked kind of shows that we got the opportunity to do. So we kind of incorporated all those bits from within that. And, it, and it's like, I watch that video and I'm like, this is so sick. Like, I love it. <laughs> and the press release calls it a chip of the hat to skate infused punk rock. But I think they're cutting you a bit short, bro. Like, that song epitomizes skate infused punk rock. It's not fucking a tip of the hat to it at all. And that's why you got to wear your thrashers, baby. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> represent, brother. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's all like, it's one of those things where it's like, let's, let's, um, you know, I, I mean, I think this will go into like something else, but like uh, for us, it, we, we never really, um, we never really have like that sound that we're like, we need to do like a song like one for you, one for me or something like that. We're always just on the fly and we're kind of like, you know, Jamil and Sam and Woody, they're always jamming and riffing. And so, like, you know, something may be really punk, something may be metal, something might be country, something might be this, that, you know. So it's like with those songs, it, it's like, you know, Fangs is a party punk band. And that's what we wanted. Like, that's that's just like when I think about that, I think about skating and, you know, drinking some beers and having fun. And, you know, that, that that's the whole that's the whole gimmick i guess like you know like well, it's not a gimmick but like that's the whole thing that we love doing we love we're five mates that just love hanging out and you know doing those kind of things yeah and uh, that song follows on from the single wasting time and uh, the b-side nothing to lose mate so are those standalone tracks or are they part of a, a bigger picture on your album cycle what do you think i reckon you got something new coming out brother you think? You seem like the type of guy who'd be able to record one song at a time and put them out. Like, you'd get a couple down at once. How about 11 of them? Yeah, you got a whole album then. Well, I mean, I don't know if I'm supposed to say, but, uh, I mean, I may as well say it, and you get an exclusive there. So, yeah, we'll we'll be putting out an album. Yeah, sweet. Then what's it get? We, we, we still got a bunch of... Uh, bunch of songs sitting, and uh, we went down to Melbourne and uh, recorded with... Uh, um our mate from loser um and uh it was really awesome and we've been sitting on it for a long time and now that see these uh you know these songs finally coming out is really exciting because it's it's refreshing it's awesome and we're really stoked about it yeah so cool then it is same old story and wasting time a represent or a good representation of what we're going to expect from it or is there a bit more in there I think there's a few more that have a bit more uh, variation, but um, you know, there's heavy, there's um, there's some topics that are more serious, but there's also you know that Fangs esque style where it's like we take we'll take a um, a certain topic and spin it so it's kind of a positive message. Um, so like in 
those different songs there's a lot of variety but there's still like that that there's a flow to the album i guess i could say yeah and is it pushing the friendship too much to uh, to ask if it'll be out this year or not um i'm not sure if it will we're, we're still going through that we will definitely probably actually we will put out another single i think this year um i'm not entirely sure about the album but um you know we're we're pushing for um you know the, the year's almost over i don't know where it's gone so it's like you know to pack it all into these bits and, and um trying to stay you know have that momentum keep going and stuff so I, i'm not really entirely sure about the release day of, of the full thing but i know we'll have another single out that's for sure yeah. um yeah sweet and how, how would you say that the sound of things has, has changed or grown grow, changed or grown i guess from your debut ep you took uh, for nothing in 2019 to this new music right now i think it all comes down to like friendship and how much you like how you get to know the the members in your band and you know there are certain styles and personalities and you know we all have such a similar style but every single person is very unique to um something that they bring to fang so like you know and we're always changing each of us so it's like yeah like i think if i were to say from the first ep till now it's just it, it's always evolving and we're always changing together and and adapting to like you know what's what we think is cool or what we like and you know if for, at the end of the day we're just a bunch of dudes that we love to create a certain style or you know it, it could be anything it's like it could be a funny like uh just a jam and somehow it'll just turn into something that we're like that's sick actually so <laughs> it, it's always just on the feel like we're really um we're really uh together when it comes to writing and um but like the ideas just go crazy and it, someone will just you know someone will play like a beat on like the side of a piano or something and be like that's sick let's write a song <laughs> <laughs> Like, so it's always there's always creative juices flowing because like the other guys they're so inspirational um in you know certain aspects of what they do and they everyone has something that they could bring so it's it's like it's always going to be changing it'll, I, I don't think it'll ever stop changing to be fair like you know it, if you ask me in five years you're like you remember that time you wrote like a, a metallica album <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, <laughs> Do I? <laughs> maybe we did. You know, remember that time we wrote a country album like everyone else or whatever. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> now you've also announced a rather ambitious twenty-four hour East Coast tour on August thirty-first, which is this Saturday. Starts at the Cherry Bar in Melbourne at one a.m. Heads to Sydney at, for a one p.m. start at Bootleggers. Then you're off to Brisbane to start at ten thirty p.m. at Greaser. Like. What the fuck, bro? Like, is that even possible? Well, what do you think, Chris? Well, I think I think you're going to make it possible, but what would possess you to decide to try and do something like that is what I want to know. I mean, what would possess us to not try and do that, though? If you, you know us by now. Yeah, like, no, I do, but that's not the sort of thing. You, you have that conversation when you're pissed one night and the next morning you wake up and you go... I can't believe we fucking thought we were going to do that, but you guys are doing it. <laughs> I mean, I'd put more in if I could. <laughs> I don't. I don't think it's that unreasonable. Um, the the only thing, obviously, is like flights, and it's we're on a tight schedule and stuff. So, like, as long as everything goes um, according to plan, um, it, it should be sweet. And like, we're really stoked. I think it's a. Uh, um, a pretty insane idea, but I don't really know anyone else who's done it. No, I, don't, I haven't heard of it before, mate. That's why I asked. It's just, it's it's a fantastic ever, mate, and I'm fucking kudos to you for doing it, but I'm fucked if I'd be trying it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, you got to go for it, right? So you, you're I not think... flying Jetstar. They tell me you're not flying Jetstar because it's fucked. It's doomed to fail here before you start if you are. Nah, we're going Virgin. Virgin <laughs> all the way. Smart call. So there's so many things that could go wrong with an idea like that, mate. Like, 
What's your biggest concern? What's the one that you're like, fuck, I hope this doesn't happen? Um, concerns? Not really. Like, I'm not really worried about it. Um, I'm obviously, uh, I guess there's like, you know, what if uh, we check a luggage and a guitar or something doesn't show up? So there's always like those minor concerns, but like for the most part, um, we're going to go into it with an open mind and, and just see what happens. And I think it's going to be awesome. And we've got a really, like the other day, we got a really awesome shout from um, Josh on uh, Triple J. And he was just like, I think it's insane that, these boys are doing it and I don't think anyone else has done it. So kudos to them. And I think it's a really bold move and, you know, I, I, I hope for the Fangs team over here that everything goes to plan and, you know, I'm really excited. And I think it's a, a challenge that, you know, there's out throughout the years with Fangs. I don't think there's anything that we wouldn't do. Do you know what I mean? Like we've done some crazy, crazy stuff and we'll keep pushing and keep pushing and 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 you know we're we're not the type of band that's just gonna hold back. Um what's I gonna say? So yeah, you're gonna be you're gonna be up for a beer after the Brisbane show or are you gonna straight home to bed? <laughs> well, are you gonna come out to the Brizzy show? Oh well I've got another festival to go to first, but I'll stay sober and I'll drive in and catch up with you straight after. Well, if we have a beer together, then absolutely. You're a good man, mate, you're a good man. <laughs> Your next show is Froth and Fury in Adelaide on November the 9th, mate. With you got Beer Factory, Die Art, North Lane. Like, what a fucking lineup, mate, for an Australian punk show that's back in Adelaide. Amazing. Uh, you know what's funny? Uh, we've been to Adelaide like three times. Well, that'll be the third. Well, that'll be my fourth time this year in Adelaide, and I'd never been there before because I did the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater gig with those boys um in adelaide as well which is super strange but i love adelaide i think it's great there there's a cool like um there's a cool music scene and um i'm really excited and you know to be privileged to play with all those amazing bands you know especially the australian like yeah. heavyweights you know north lane i love north lane and yeah. um you know there's there's so many awesome artists that we're very very lucky to have even been asked to play i'm stoked Fuck yeah now before you go mate i got something else for you that i didn't tell you about it's a bit of a surprise so uh -oh. <laughs> i've started doing a thing at the end of interviews called photo bombs so i've gone back through the photos <laughs> from history and dug a few up and i want you to explain them to me <laughs> okay so all right so i found a <laughs> where do i start all right, we'll start with this one. Oh, God damn. What are you fucking sleeping? Uh, I think I'm just planking. <laughs> you remember that, like, that that thing that people were doing, you know, 10 years ago? That was oh, the planking bullshit? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You do it halfway through a song. I think, I think I'm just like, I don't know. I'm always doing... It's my ADHD, man. I, I don't know where my brain goes someday, but I think that was me. <laughs> but like, was that during a gig or a practice? Maybe, or maybe I am just taking a nap. I don't know. <laughs> All right, this next one, two part one, but the first one, yeah, is this one. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> so we did a music video for. Um, you know the Blink-182, What's My Age Again? Yeah. So we ran through Merrickville, like, naked and did a video of that video. And, you know, that's the that's the walk, I guess. And that's the walk. <laughs> <laughs> that's the Beatles right there. Woo! Her part two to this is, how the fuck did you get Emmy involved? Oh, Emmy's a good mate. She's a legend. <laughs> we we just ask her. We're like, we're doing the what's my age again? Um, you know, Blink One Eight Two thing. You want to be the nurse? And she's like, yeah, dude, absolutely. She looks like she's pretty focused on looking up, not yeah. down at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's rad. Yeah, she's a good and girl. Like, isn't she? Oh, their their cover and their um 
Triple J thing the other day was amazing. Very sweet. All right, brother. Well, that's all I got for you, Joshua. Um, the single is out now. The album's out probably next year. Got another single to come. You're doing your 24 hour East Coast tour this weekend. Where can people get tickets if they want to come down and catch you? Best thing about it, it's all free. So just come free. and show up. Fuck me, right. Free. All right, well, I'll pay for the first beer. How's that sound? <laughs> Love it. <laughs> all right, brother. We'll catch you Saturday night. Best of luck, man. Amazing. So nice to talk to you, Chris. Thank you, brother. See you on the weekend.